right home folks i don't know if you've been following what's going on in the weather there's a lot of activity out there i was a little surprised when i looked at the headline and it says as isaac approaches yeah, yeah, yeah. isaac is approaching we're not quite approaching sure approaching weirdo so see the, see the truck there what's the little jamaica florence, right there's one yeah. called florence that's out there no yeah um helene as well but Isaac looks like the most dangerous for us. So what's, um, what's the prognosis? Well, the prognosis, according to... Let I just read this because I, I can't prognosticate on my own. Okay. Um, it says, Tropical Storm Isaac. Um, right, let me start at the beginning. At least three storms are churning their way towards the Caribbean and North America. This is according to Evan Thompson, director of the Met Service. Um, peak of the hurricane is now here. And hurricane season is now here. Two of these systems, <coughs> Helene and Florence, are not threats to Jamaica. Tropical storm Isaac, however, was expected to become a hurricane by this morning. Not considered a threat to the island at this time, but the Med Service said it would continue to monitor all systems. Isaac is expected to move across the Lesser Antilles and into the Eastern Caribbean Sea by Wednesday or Thursday. Maximum sustained winds um, had yesterday increased to near 110 kilometers per hour with higher gusts. Peak of the hurricane season is really near the 10th of September, that's today. Um, so I saw folks on um, social yesterday saying that they don't really like how it looks. One person in particular whose tweets I look for when weather, weather issues arise are saying this don't look so good. But if you look at the bands, you see that, you know, even so if it don't So from come. everything you said and read. Yes. But the Met Office is saying there is no threat. At this time. You tell me what I'm going now. Where did I hear like Thursday, Friday? What is happening is that... Where did I hear Thursday, trough Friday? Out in the eastern, north, okay. west. Yeah. And then it's going to be... Let me know you something say we either going to get the weather on Thursday or it could hit us. That, that is all? That's what, that's what I'm hearing. On but that's not what can't trust. Just. But the expert, yeah. um, Evan is saying it's not a threat at this time. But if you look at the forecast, put it up again, foot. With the, okay, hi everyone. With the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, with that. the track. So, Should drop if just it underneath continues, us, really. if it continues, then by, we sh should be feeling yeah. some kind of quote unquote. So, we won't terms. get hit, but we should get the bands, shouldn't we? It depends on whether it stays on that trajectory or if yeah. it bears yeah. northward. By the way, just to remind you, say Gilbert was September 12th. Oh, Just so I remind you about that. Thanks, Nev. <laughs> <laughs> timely, a timely reminder from your yeah. Sky Jamaica friend here. And, and and that would be Wednesday, wouldn't it? That would be Wednesday. Well, there you go. I remember Gilbert like it was and yesterday. And it says the peak, as Simone said, the peak of the hurricane season is really near around today. There you go. Mm -hmm. But we don't have no hurricane. Don't let no water come into your room. All right. So... I don't know if it's implode is the word I want to use, but Serena Williams really um, hmm. got a little testy with the umpire. First, she was accused of being coached during the match, which is illegal. By the way, her coach came out after that and said, yeah, he was trying to get a message or a sign to her, which is illegal. Second, she mash up the rabbit. A sign like do this or do that or a sign like good job? I, I don't he... know. I don't know. But he oh. came out and said, even though she said it, nothing like that was going on, he came out after and said, yes, he was trying to. Um, so let's see if we can look at what really went on. We're not going to see all of it, but let's look at a, a little piece. Well, let's not. And she lost them both. And I thought, to be fair, in the, before all of this started, um, Osaka was really good. She was doing really, really well. And she lost the first set 6-2, Serena Williams, which doesn't happen too often to Serena Williams. She's one win in a major um, tournament away from tying the record. Um, and I still think she'll get it. I think she's the, the greatest tennis player ever. This was so strange to watch. Yep. Osaka was being booed. Yep. She was almost apologetic for winning. Yep. Um, it was very, very a very awkward situation, but she handled it like a champ. She yep. hugged her, she yep. gave her her props, and and you if know. you want to know why, it is the U.S. Open, and Serena Williams is from the U.S., so they came to support her. The Japanese winner is the first 
um, Japanese to win a, a major title. The so, Japanese Haitian apparently, yeah. that's her heritage. Yeah. First to win a, um, a major title. And you're right, she almost felt bad about it, but she, she ought not to. Um, and I still think Serena will be back. At the end of the day, she was fined $17,000. Um, and uh, this, this umpire though seems to have a lot of issues. Yeah, she a lot refused, of to, she refused to shake his hand at the end of the game mm -hmm. also. So. Mm -hmm. And of course claims Serena is now saying she's fighting for women who want to express themselves just yeah. as, as yeah. vocally as the men. Yeah. And if you look, as has been posted on social for yeah, the last McEnroe. couple of days, McEnroe, Federer, um, who said some very choice yeah. words to the umpire. Doesn't Worse make it right than, though. Doesn't make no, it right but though. still, yep. where is the equity? Yep. You can't treat one person like that and then treat another set of people differently. Yep. If you're raising the bar, then standardize yep. it. There that you go. Me, that may I say. All right. Well, this one's strange. I can't even. This one's strange. I can't wait for the, the real details yep. or the details to come out in this story. How do you leave your island nation? You go away. You fight for the American dream. You're in your house. I mean, they have all these hashtags, you know, shot while mm -hmm. watching software. You're in your house and you die in your house at the hands of a cop who comes in, apparently thinks she's in her own apartment, sees you in the apartment and shoots you dead. It's just so bizarre. Yeah. Bizarre. That's the strange thing though. You go in the wrong house or you end up in the wrong house. You're a police officer. Um, well, police officers are human beings too. I know, but you end up there. I don't know. That's This one is strange. This it's one is very strange. bizarre. And then they took uh, at least a couple of days to release her name <clears throat> after she was charged. There was a claim that she was charged, but she was corporate, cooperative, so they sent her home. Yep. Um, all sorts of controversies, or should I say conspiracy theories, you know, yep. swirling. They knew each other, they used to date. Uh, media coming out to say that's in fact not true. So, I mean, it's, we wait to find out what the story is behind this, but it's just bizarre that you could come home, walk into the wrong apartment, and shoot the person mm. who's in there. It's a very, very sad yeah, story. By the way, they said court documents from a case a year ago have also revealed that she shot another man um, while on duty in Dallas. So, she said she returned home in uniform after her shift and entered the wrong apartment, believing it was her own. She called dispatch to report she had shot a man. A man who came from St. Lucia. St. Lucia. There you go. Oh. What's his name? Shem, Botham Shem Jean. Yes, he has a name. So let's use this is a very sad story. Very sad story. Incredible. What's, you know, America and incredible kind of go together.